Hello, this is Chaudhry Mahmood Anwar and thank you very much for joining this lecture. Today I'll tell you how to conduct uh, a correlation analysis between two sets of variables or uh, among two latent variables. To do this Pearson product movement uh, correlation analysis uh, does not work. Therefore, we have to conduct uh, a specially designed analysis for this that is canonical correlation analysis. The concept behind the canonical correlation analysis is this. For instance, you have uh, two sets of variables. Here you can see the latent variable note taking, evaluation of extra material and uh, following timelines. And the second set of variables is uh, taking exam, managing exam time and focus on main idea. So these are two sets of variables and uh, these are latent variables of course and if we want to analyze uh, the relationship the association among these sets of variables then the regular Pearson product movement correlation won't work therefore we have to conduct an analysis and the name of the analysis is uh, canonical correlation analysis. Uh, but always remember that um, if you are using all the quantitative variables, just I'm using in this example, then the analysis uh, will be called canonical correlation analysis. But if you are using any uh, one variable that is uh, the quantitative variable and you're going to analyze uh, the canonical relationships, then the procedure will be called canonical correspondence analysis. Now I'll tell you by giving you an example. Here is um, an article published in International Journal of Management, Economics and Social Sciences. The title of the article is the canonical correlation analysis between fitness of organization condition and integration possibility. In this article, the authors are endeavoring to investigate the association between these two latent uh, constructs. You can read the hypothesis here. The organizational condition fitness of two companies will influence the integration possibility of organizational management. So this is um, the framework. You can see that uh, these three variables, SOP, SOB and SOS, represent organizational condition fitness whereas TMTR, OSR, IOSES, EOSES represent organizational management. So these two latent variables comprise of these three and these four manifest variables. So uh, the main objective in this research is to analyze the canonical relationships between these sets of variables. So this is how a researcher conducted the procedure and finally drawn the canonical correlations here. You can see this is the first set, the organizational condition fitness, and this is the second set of variables. These are the, the calculated correlation coefficients between each manifest variable and uh, its uh, corresponding latent construct. And uh, point four six is uh, the canonical uh, correlation between these two uh, latent constructs. So this is how uh, you will conduct the canonical correlation analysis. Currently, I will give you an example. Here's the data file in SPSS. We have uh, uh, three set of variables, uh, locus of control, self-concept, and motivation. That would be dependent variables. And the second set of variables we have is called covariates. So read, write, math, and science are covariates. We will see whether the covariates will explain uh, the shared variance um, among locus of control, self-concept, and uh, motivation, which are our dependent variables. So this is the data. We have 600 responses here. Now I'll tell you how to conduct uh, canonical correlation analysis uh, in SPSS. 
Uh, of course, there is no drop down menu and option available for canonical correlation analysis. So you have to uh, write a syntax in this manner go to File, New, Syntax. Write this syntax. We will use MANOVA command, locus of control, self concept, motivation. These three variables are dependent variables. We will use the with command and read, write, math, and science are covariates. We will use discrimination command all alpha 1 and print command eigen and dim. Now you will run this syntax by clicking on run selection button. Once the analysis has been conducted, you will get this window, the output window of SPSS. I will tell you the important tables here. First of all, you will see various uh, significance tests here, but uh, among all these tests, most important test here is Wilkes lambda test. Here, the Wilkes lambda test value is 0.78147, and it's significant. If this test is not significant, then canonical correlation analysis won't work for your data. Second, you will see that the analysis has extracted three roots. The eigenvalue of first root is 0 0.24892 and uh, its canonical correlation is 0.44 and it's explaining 19.931% of the variance. So this is very important. Let's see the dimension reduction analysis. You will see that uh, the first root is significant at 0 0.001. The second root is also significant at 0 0.02. However, the third root is not significant because p-value is greater than 0 0.05. So in this eigenvalues and canonical correlation table, you will see that uh, the first root is explaining uh, the most of, of the var shared variance. However, the second root is explaining only 2% and uh, third root is negligibly explaining some variance therefore you will not use the second uh, root and the third root you will only use the first root in this analysis because it's significant and explaining more than 10 percent of the shared variance okay these tests are important uh, raw canonical uh, coefficients and standardized canonical coefficients for dependent variables if you are testing your data in predictive sense, then uh, these tables are important. However, for in current tutorial, I am interested in uh, correlation associations only. Therefore, you will see this table correlations between dependent and canonical variables. So you will see that the, that the correlation of locus of control with the first root is 0.91. The correlation of uh, self concept with the second root is 0.09. And the correlation of motivation with the first root is 0.58. So you will use first root and you will ignore second and third root. Similarly, you will see uh, the raw canonical coefficients or standardized canonical coefficients for covariates if you are interested in uh, predictive analysis. Uh, however, we will only use uh, the correlation between covariates and canonical variables. Here you can see that the coefficient of association of read is 0 0.88, for write is 0 0.91, for math is 0 0.79, and for science is 0 0.69. This is how you will uh, test the associations among the set of variables or among your latent variables. So if you want to draw this uh, uh, canonical correlation analysis, uh, you can draw in this way. Just see. Uh, this is uh, gamma and this is eta. Gamma consists of uh, locus of control, self-concept and motivation and eta is the latent variable consists of uh, read, write, math and science. And these are the associated uh, correlation, canonical correlation coefficients. Uh, these are the associated uh, canonical correlation coefficients uh, with, with the gamma latent variable and the correlation among uh, these two latent uh, variables is 0 0.44. So this is how we will conduct the canonical correlation analysis to test the associations between the set of uh, variables or among the latent variables. Thank you very much for watching this video.